It's no surprise that there exists in the mainstream media an anti-conservative bias, but it is important to understand exactly how pernicious that bias is, especially when it comes to issues like immigration, and more specifically, the United Nations Global Compact on Migration, a very dangerous and concerning agreement to which Canada is now, thanks to Justin Trudeau, a signatory. There was a lot of media coverage about the UN Global Migration Compact, but now we have some independent research showing just how important True North's voice was in counteracting the tone that the mainstream media had on that. True North reached out to Mission Research, which is a private and independent media analysis and market research firm, to do an analysis using Mission Research's proprietary technique on the tone, coverage, and placement of mainstream media coverage of the UN Global Migration Compact. According to the research, which was commissioned for True North, but done independently, the mainstream media did cover it. And specifically, they looked at about 150 different articles and using their own techniques determined that Justin Trudeau had a score of minus 1.7, a media impact score, which means that his pro-compact position, the position of the federal government, was evaluated negatively on average across the multiple news outlets that were included in the research. Andrew Scheer had some of the coverage that Justin Trudeau did, not as much of course, and his anti-compact position was evaluated in a neutral way. It had a score of minus 0.8 across 97 articles of coverage. Now these numbers out of context might not mean anything to you, but Mission Research went one step further. They took out of their analysis anything that was connected to True North, most notably Candace Malcolm's columns at the Toronto Sun, of which there were a great many because, quite frankly, True North voices were among the only people really driving the discussion for much of the time in which the UN Global Migration Compact was in the news. When True North voices were taken out of the mix, Justin Trudeau's score actually improved by 55%. It went from minus 1.7 to minus 1.1, which is indicative that the coverage was still critical, but getting to that point of it being neutral territory. Now, as far as the mainstream media is concerned, neutral coverage is still fair. I'd rather it be neutral than unabashedly shilling for Justin Trudeau, which we did see in a couple of isolated examples and are going to continue to see headed towards the election. But what this research proves is that the True North voice is genuinely giving a perspective on these issues that is not being heard in the mainstream media. And it's important that we keep that up. This is a grassroots initiative, which means anything we do is being done not just for the average ordinary person in Canada, but we only get to do it when we have support from those very people. As a grassroots initiative, we're not getting a piece of that $595 million government bailout fund. Our support is coming from you. Sometimes people will chip in $100, $200. Other times they'll give us $10 a month by joining either the Heritage Club or the Patriot Club. But this is important. I don't share this just to be a fundraising appeal, but I do share it so that we understand exactly what it is that we are doing when it comes to the media landscape. You see, without True North, the media was going to be fairly uncritical of the UN Compact, reporting that, okay, Justin Trudeau is signing this, but not really delving into the meat of what it is that is so dangerous and damaging about that compact. And that's where we came in. Some people might have thought that we were beating the drum too hard, but it was important to do so because no one else was. And when we look at these numbers, we see exactly how true that was. True North has always been and will continue to be standing up for the things that the mainstream media doesn't care about or is against Canadians on. And when it comes to surrendering our immigration file to the United Nations, there is a clear answer, and that's that Canada should not be a part of this. For True North, I'm Andrew Lawton.